Hello there. I'm Olive O'Sullivan. I am the owner of Brow Teak Ireland, uh, the eyebrow tattoo service based here in Clonakilty. Um, myself and my team of nurse affiliates uh, are part of the brand. I have myself, uh, Nurse Olive, who works in Clonakilty uh, three days a week. I have Nurse Ashling works here in Clonakilty three days a week. Uh, I have Nurse Debbie who works in Newbridge um, uh, three days a week, four days a week. And Nurse Debbie also serves Hearts Cross in Dublin as I do myself. Recently, Nurse Lorraine has come on board for the West of Ireland who's currently doing models and she'll be on board from July of 2023. So to revisit the topic of eyebrow tattoos, uh, I do the style of microblading. I also do blade and shade. And the other girls do uh, micro pigmentation, which is the same thing, only it's done by machine. Nurse Ashling does eyebrow uh, hair strokes uh, with her machine as well. And she also does areola tattoos. And Nurse Debbie is currently doing micro pigmentation, which is a misty, dusty brow or a powder brow if you're looking for a more defined brow. Um, and what is the difference uh, between them all? And I suppose to be able to explain properly, it's a tattoo. Uh, how the technique is done is uh, irrelevant. Uh, once the uh, shape is right, everything falls into place. There are certain skins who can't take microblading. So my area of expertise is microblading and blade and shade. So to explain what that's about, um, it's where I use a, I just get it. So this is the tool that I use. So it's a very, very tiny, fine uh, needles on its own handle. And what I do is a hair stroke technique, which is this technique um, on people who have at least 50% uh, brow hair. Um, microblading is only suitable for about 40% of the clients that actually come through here. And oftentimes if microblading is not enough or if your eyebrows come back very patchy, we upgrade you then to a, a technique called blade and shade, whereby I use a tool. This is attached to a power source and I use a, a sterile, obviously, um, a cartridge uh, with a shading uh, needles on it to shade in between the microblading hair strokes to create, to fill in the gaps and to create that lovely shade. So Nurse Ashling, Nurse uh, Debbie and Nurse Lorraine all trained with a machine whereby it's same thing and um, might be a slimmer pencil if there's loads of different machines which is attached to a power source but they've got an array and a variety of different cartridges um, some are single needle whereby they'll give you that lovely dusty misty powdery light powder fill or if you're looking for a little bit something more defined you can uh, they would just switch up the, the uh, cartridge and uh, give you the more defined eyebrow that you're looking for so it's very dependent on the skin that you have the age that you are how much eyebrow hair you have left if any at all and um, will determine which of the techniques that we will actually advise you to have. So we would suggest that you have a consultation to discuss. And this. at the end of the day, if the shape of your eyebrow is right, everything else falls into place. So I've used this just to demonstrate. Um, we use a lots of different tools in order to determine an eyebrow uh, shape for you that's best suited to your face. This is predetermined by your whole anatomy and physiology of your face. So oftentimes people come in to me and I and their eyebrows are drawn on so perfectly that you kind of think, oh my God, that's just so amazing. But it takes very little effort because the bone structure will determine the type of eyebrow shape that suits you. So does your face shape. So if you come in and you wonder, is this really the eyebrow for me? Well, then we will actually use our facial morphology tools, draw on the potential brow, uh, let you go home and see if you like it and you can make any changes that you like, of course. But the day the work is being done, we will use our facial morphology tools. You get to approve it. You can make any changes you like. 
The period after the day the work is done, their eyebrows will be about 20% more swollen. They look quite dark that night. In 24 hours, the swelling will have abated, but they will look even darker again. So the first two days can be the toughest time of your eyebrow uh, healing recovery. Um, that period of recovery, like it brings a small, tiny range of side effects. Like and they're not serious at all. They're just annoying. So um, it means that they you know, can be a bit, a little bit swelling, a little bit of flaking. Um, and sometimes they can be a, a bit itchy while, you're, while the skin is actually healing. Does that make any odds? Not at all. I mean, it's all, all good stuff. Um, but be prepared that the outside skin takes three to five days to actually heal. It takes 30 full days for the underneath skin to actually heal. But um, the first five days, it's a minor inconvenience. Like. So skin healing and skin recovery is unique for everybody. Um, some people's skin heals way faster than others. Um, some people would be fully healed in three days, some could be five to seven days. And oftentimes we would hear uh, some other people tell us that the flaking kind of went on for maybe 10 days or so. But it's minor flakes, like it's a little bit like as if you've got dandruff in your eyebrows. Um, but day five is the peak uh, whereby if you're going to get the itch, and the itch is a sign of healing, um, you know, that's usually the point where we prefer that you actually don't scratch it because uh, you'll end up to, uh, picking off the scabs. But if you get yourself a cotton bud and just give it a daub like that along the eyebrow, at least it'll help where the itch is concerned. And you won't have introduced any form of a source of infection into your eyebrows. In the length of time we are doing this work, um, I have never had a client get an infection. And it's not going to be you. So just to wrap up in relation to this is that Brow Teak Ireland, we are practically nationwide at this point. Um, we take all ranges of clients. 70% of our clients would probably current, currently have cancer or are about to embark on a chemotherapy uh, journey or they've had cancer in the past. And the other 30% are the likes of hormonal brow loss. That would be postnatal, thyroid, menopausal usually. Trichotillomania, that's where you have people who pluck out their eyebrow hairs. Uh, alopecia of course and um, a whole range whatever your um, uh, eyebrow hair loss story is um, we're here to help and it's better that you come to have a consultation to discuss your eyebrow concerns how we can help you and we will point you in the right direction in relation to which is the best technique for you to be able to serve you best i hope that helps